Hey, how's it going? My deadly mercenary family causing Mercy Bring you a new video. And today we were talking about Tekken 8, how it demolished Mortal Kombat 1 on the Twitch viewership or something like that. But before we continue, I have to apologize for the lack of content lately. Life is rough and it's hard to juggle work, life, and YouTube and my other hobbies. So I'm so sorry about that. I'm only human. And if you're human too, you would give this video a like, subscribe, and follow me on my other social media accounts linked in the description below. But other than that, let's continue with the video. So Zekin 8 has been out for over a week now and the fighting game community is going nuts about it. I got the game day one and I have to say it's a lot of fun. It looks cool. It feels cool. It is cool. It makes you cool. I, I played a little bit of Tekken 7 with my friends and it's cool. But uh, I re really, really never got into the series. But I love fighting games so that's why I got it. I was always just too focused on Super Smash Bros. And you saw how well that went. The sad part of getting Tekken 8 right now is that uh, I'm trying to dial in and focus on Guilty Gear before EVO, so I have a lot of catching up to do in that series, so uh, Tekken 8 will sadly have to take a backseat for the moment. But if you guys want to see me do the story mode or something, which I have a little bit, um, I mean like in chapter 3 or whatever, I would gladly show it on this uh on the channel so I'm being more very transparent with you about how much tech and I have played so when I make these statements for this video and stuff like that you don't see me as a fanboy for Tekken or Mortal Kombat 1 or whatever now you just know the background a little bit of Tekken 7 played with friends but really really I'm just very new to this game franchise so, because of the success of Tekken 8, people for no actual reason are dogpiling a Mortal Kombat franchise. I say no actual reason because they, they're, the way they're attacking Mortal Kombat in this situation is just is not logical and has no reason to it. Makes no sense whatsoever. You see, you could say a lot about Mortal Kombat 1 or the Mortal Kombat franchise in general. It's easy to play, it takes no skills, the game is mid, fatalities are stupid, MKX was better. Uh, frame rate data, internet connection, good lack of content, yada yada yada. You could say all that stuff, and I will, and I can't really say much because there's a, either one personal opinions or just fact of the matter that sometimes Nether Realm Studios is really lazy with their games, and specifically Mortal Kombat One. It feels a little bit lazy, just a little bit in my opinion. But it, when people say it feels lazy, I I give them that. You know, I can't really denied you know what i mean or something however what doesn't make sense are takes like this catch the difference yeah yeah i mean oh, oh wow what what's the difference is that tekken 8 has more viewership than mortal kombat 1 i mean come on man that's what kind of what happens when a mid game is versus tekken 8 i mean tekken 8 just came out for crying out loud oh look, I, I could do the same thing too guys look at this Spot the difference, guys. Wow, you see that Suicide Squad is a much better game than Arkham Knights. Nah, that doesn't prove anything, dude. That doesn't prove that Suicide Squad is a, a better game because it has more viewership. It just means it just came out. You know what I mean? If anything, both games are mediocre at best, right? So it's just like, what's your argument there? It's a stupid-ass argument. And then there's a second tweet. Mortal Kombat sells more copies. Give me a break, chat. And then you could see how many copies of Mortal Kombat has been sold. Tekken 8 has been sold. And uh, Street Fighter has been sold on Steam. And then he follows up with, People misunderstand and think I'm hating and I'm negative, etc. No, man, I just want the best for Mortal Kombat 1. I'll make these because I'm passionate about MK and realize that MK has lost that MK magic. I have to say something because... It's my duty to hold NRS accountable, unlike others. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a hundred percent with you. Okay. Look at look at the numbers across all platforms, not just Steam. Okay. Okay. Stop playing with Steam numbers and look at all the numbers for 2023. And you know who outsold Street Fighter Six? You know who outsold which fighting game outsold Street Fighter Six? Which, in my opinion, Street Fighter Six is peak peak is like it, it, it was open for people to join and everything is like very good it's a very solid fighting game very gr a great fighting game if i may say so myself you know it was Mortal Kombat 1 Mortal Kombat 1 beat Street Fighter 6 and it doesn't surprise me 
it doesn't surprise me that Mortal Kombat 1 beat Street Fighter 6 because, okay, here's another, here's another little trivia, guys, okay? If you guys didn't know, Super Smash Bros. was at one point the number one selling fighting game franchise of all time. Of all time. It makes sense, okay? The, the Smash Bros. game was once the best selling franchise in the world. You know, the one that sells literal consoles for Nintendo. Super Smash Bros., the game with guest characters such as Sonic, Solid 6, Joker from Persona, Banjo Kazooie, Kazuya from Tekken. You know who beat that fra- or the whole franchise? Not just one. I'm just talking about like the old, just not ultimate. I'm talking about the whole franchise. You know who beat it? Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat was the one that dethroned Super Smash Bros. I didn't believe it either when I heard it, but I looked it up and it's true. Look at this. Look at these numbers. So it doesn't surprise me when I read that last year in 2023, MK1 beat Street Fighter 6. Even though Street Fighter 6, again, is the better game in my opinion. So I just posted those stats into the tweet and I got a response, right? But bravo, bravo. Way to keep them accountable with, uh, you know, like miscured numbers like that. Hey, keep it up, man. I'm proud of you. Way to keep those numbers really uh, on top of their game so you could keep NRS ac- accountable while they over there just getting pools and buckets of money because people are actually buying Mortal Kombat 1, you know? Look, people, if you're going to criticize MK1, you really don't have to just nitpick on numbers like this. Or you know, these are dumb takes, bro. Just go and tell them what the real problem is. Tell them how unbalanced the game is. Tell them about the glitches. Tell them about all this and that. Like, like, like the, the game. You could say so much about Mortal Kombat 1 that you don't have to make this shit up. You don't have to make any of this up. So I don't understand why people are going around and making our mis- misinterpreting the numbers and taking just s- different data from different locations and be like, oh, you see, Mortal Kombat 1's the bad game, guys. It's just it's just logical. If you get sales less than like 1 million in Steam, then that makes you a bad game. Like, nah, dude, just say it's a bad game because of the... F- all the other reasons, all the actual reasons, right? So don't, don't, just don't do that, okay? So this just makes you look dumb, you know, and it just further divides the fighting game community, and it's a bad as a whole, okay, guys. I know we like to have our little like sections and more combat people play here and the tech, but as a fighting game community, doing this type of like very not not productive at all, just fights, you know makes you makes us look dumb that's just my opinion if you're gonna hate mk1 just hate mk1 okay for actual reasons and not these dumb petty little numbers games that aren't even really numbers there okay oh and then after all that right before i posted this video look at this he posts this this tweet mk1 is alive let's go just clickbait farming i guess at this point but hey, what, what do you guys think? Is my take wrong? You know, is my take wrong? You know, comment down below how you were wrong for thinking my takes wrong. Nah, but in all seriousness, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you wait? But even better, what do you guys think of Second Eight so far? You know, do you guys like the game? How does it feel to you guys? To me, it feels great, and it's running on the Series S just fine. But hey, other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on my other social media accounts, link in the, sec- link in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for just sticking around and always subscribing. Stay vigilant, and see you guys next time.